Who would ever go to look for life in hot magma hidden deep under the ground? Scientists hadn't even thought about that until 2009, when they tried to extend a borehole under one of the power stations in Iceland. They intended to convert the magma's heat into energy. This project failed, but it was thanks to it that at a depth of two kilometers below the ground, researchers found something interesting. In this video, you'll get answers to the following questions. Why can Earth's magnetic field change? Can we catch subterranean monsters with the help of blue cheese? Why do scientists conceal their findings? And most importantly, how deep under our planet's surface can life exist? Previously, scientists believed there couldn't be any life below topsoil, as there's just no food for living organisms to survive. But it turns out that things are a lot more complicated than that. For example, an accumulation of bacteria has been recently found at a depth of around 2 kilometers off the coast of Japan. But there's almost no oxygen in these layers of soil, let alone edible substances. How do microorganisms survive without food? It turns out that these bacteria can break down complex chemical compounds and simultaneously emit methane. By the way, they can also exist in anoxic conditions above the surface. They're the reason why people occasionally see so-called will-o'-the-wisps flashing lights that sometimes appear at night over swamps. But what if we go even further down? In South Africa, bacteria were found at a depth of almost 3 kilometers, and unlike their cousins, these guys are veritable lazy bones since they don't even synthesize food on their own, but eat the hydrogen produced by the Earth's mantle. But the most stunning record breaker in this competition is a bacterium found at a depth of 3.5 kilometers. It feeds on pure iron. These bacteria can happily exist at 121 degrees Celsius. That's the temperature needed to sterilize medical equipment. But is this point a final frontier that marks the end of life? Perhaps to find the most well-hidden biological forms, we need to search starting with the deepest areas of our planet the world ocean bottom. Although there are tons of water making it hardly possible to conduct such research, scientists haven't given up on this idea, and recently their efforts have been rewarded. At a depth of two kilometers down the floor of the Pacific Ocean, they've found bacteria that feed on crude oil. And while this valuable resource triggers another war on the surface, Scientists have found an excellent practical implementation for the new bacteria, using them to cope with ecological disasters. Researchers have already learned how to breed these microorganisms, and in the case of an oil spill, they'll help us clean the ocean's surface. However, the bacteria found at a depth of around 3 kilometers below the bottom stick to an even more exotic diet. In a place where the pressure is so immense that it nearly excludes any chance of life, and where there's nothing they can eat, these bacteria learn to feed on sulfur and even arsenic. But let's not forget that microbes and bacteria are the simplest organisms, the first components of the food chain. And if there's prey, there should be predators, right? Scientists have long been trying to find multicellular organisms in Krubera Cave, the second deepest one in the world, located in Abkhazia. And if the fact that bacteria can exist so deep below the surface is already proven, searching for larger organisms has been quite a task. Scientists have tried a lot of things as bait, but oddly enough, the perfect treat for the elusive dweller of the underground has been our regular moldy cheese. Take a look at Plutomerus ortobalaginensis. This cutie has no eyes, and its body is covered with dark spots, which are pretty untypical for creatures living in deep caves. It feeds on fungal spores, and that's why it enjoyed the human delicacy so much. By the way, it wasn't the only gourmand residing in Krubera Cave. The fine blue cheese has helped scientists find several other new species of multicellular organisms. 
However, sometimes you don't need to go very far to make new discoveries, as they're waiting right around the corner. And you may meet predators in places you've never planned to visit. The Cave of the Crystals has always attracted a lot of attention. Just look at these gigantic selenite crystals. After those minerals' cavities were examined under a microscope, it turned out that inside them, there are ancient microorganisms, and they've spent billions of years in their comfortable solitude. Moreover, in one of these cavities, researchers have spotted another predator previously unknown to science. But for now, they're not rushing to put it on display, and promise to publish the expedition's results only in several years. Anyway, there's no need to worry. Although there are some real predators deep beneath the ground, they pose a threat maybe only to bacteria, since their size doesn't exceed 4 millimeters. But can we find monsters in places where a human can't possibly get to? It appears that bacteria don't find it hard to cook dinner using any random ingredients they come across. That's why the only thing stopping them from populating even the deeper parts of the lithosphere is hot magma that destroys everything in its path. However, under the ocean floor, the temperature doesn't rise so fast, and the lowest boundary of the biosphere can be as much as 7 kilometers deep. And though even the smallest underground predators have turned out to be tiny, we've got a lot to think about. Israeli scientists have recently made a list of the most successful biological species. To this end, they've calculated the mass of all living beings and converted the result to pure carbon. And they realize that four-fifths of all the organisms on the planet are bacteria, and 80% of them live underground. It seems that entire civilizations and megacities are buzzing beneath our feet, and we don't know anything about all those species yet. But here's an even more intriguing discovery. American scientists believe that bacteria living at a depth of around 5 kilometers create Earth's magnetic field. The waste product that they excrete is magnetite paste, and it's the reason why our Earth's poles lie where they lie. And who's the king of this planet now if the population of bacteria, outnumbers ours many times, can change the magnetic field and obtain food from any sort of garbage? Perhaps this mighty biomass will rise from the bowels and crush all the surface dwellers in several hundred years. But what if the reality is, in fact, entirely different? And the deepest form of life on Earth is us, humans, while the real lords of the world live closer to its core. And do you think people will find any other curious things in the depths of our planet?